I already informed you that I am coming to Dubai and Abu Dhabi in the first week of October. Our meeting in Abu Dhabi is on the 5th of October. Those desires of meeting me in Abu Dhabi on 5th of October may contact the WhatsApp number and the email ID given below. In case you have not already done so, kindly do so at the earliest. They are limited seats. Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. As you notice, I have Anand with me. One of these questions a lot of you have been asking me on Instagram and other DMs is that how do you spot these multi-baggers? How do we know what is going to become a multi-bagger? And uh, you, can you tell us a story about multi-bag, how the multi-baggers are found and how they're made? And I thought Anand would be great at this because Anand is ex experienced with this and he's done many of these. And uh, there's a specific one which is close to him, which he's spoken a lot about in many of the platforms. And I thought I'll ask him to talk about this today. So Anand. Yeah, I wanted to talk about two companies. Hmm. One is the company you have brought up mm. and the other one is a personal experience mm. where about 12-13 years back I made you buy a particular stock yes, which you talked about yesterday. Yes. So we will talk about both these cases. This is how multiple. One has gone about 3000% up Correct. and the other has gone about 25 times up. Yes. So both are multi-baggers. True. So let's talk about this one first. For any multi-bagger in the very long term the company should have a very sound promoter True. who is willing to put in money and behind his vision and continue for a long term. Yes. The business has to be sound. The business has to be sound and he should not be resorting to debt if he doesn't have money to pay. Very true. And even if he resorts to debt mm. and the project fails, mm. he must have the ability to bring money to settle the debt. True. Liquidity is a Liquidity must. Liquidity is a must. Yes. Now, this case we are talking about is Trent, the Tata retail enterprises. Yes. Now, how did Trent start? Hmm. There was a company called Lakme, which is still there. Very true. And there was a soap called Hamam. Yes. This was in a company called Tata Oil Mills and Company, Tomco. Yes. Okay. When Ratan Tata took over, he wanted to sell businesses where he thought he will not be number one and number two. Very true. So he sold Lakme and he sold Tata Oil Mills and Company. Yes. Which he later said is a mistake. Yes. Okay. So the Hammam brand, which is now with Hindustan Unilever, and the Lakme brand, which is with Hindustan Unilever, were originally Tata brands. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. And uh, JRD Tata started Lakme because Nehru said the nail polish is being too expensive, boss. We are wasting and foreign reserves. We are wasting foreign exchange, importing it. But I can't tell the ladies of India not to use nail polish. Nail polish. So why don't you do something about it? And therefore, he started Lakme. Lakme was run by his cousin's wife. Okay. Hmm. The lady who ran it was called Simon Tata. And the husband who passed away was Ratan Tata's father. And Simon Tata was Ratan Tata's stepmother. He sold a lot of business. What he sold is Tomco and uh, Lakme. And the money they got from that, he was running Tata Industries. Yes. He asked his younger brother to start a retail company. And that's how they started uh, Trent. Yes. And uh, over the years, Trent has made several mistakes. And uh, many people thought it would be a great success. I have a very small portion in that company, but I captured the entire upside but a very, very, very minor position. So what happened was he first learned the business. His first public business was Westside. And then he also bought a bookstore called Landmark from a Madras based guy. People in Chennai should know about Landmark. Yeah, Landmark. And he also bought a publishing company, Westland Publishers. Unfortunately for him, it didn't take off. He shut down Landmark. He had the courage of conviction to sell. Yes. He shut down Landmark. Tata's are famous for that. Okay. And uh, he continued with Westside. What he realized and what made him very successful is he realized that you have to sell private label. Till that point of time, what was happening was Westside was selling other people's stuff. Yes. And Landmark was selling other people's stuff. He uh, thought that his margins is never going to be large enough for him to support this other products, which are private label products, which are these are called as private label products. True. So, and over a period of time, mm. 
All of Western products are private label products. Mm. They are not other designers. They are designed and owned by them. Mm. And so it became a 100% label. Mm. And then he decided that he has to design and sell mm. something below 1000 rupees. Anything will be less than 1000 rupees. Mm. Like a dollar shop. Correct. For that, he created a brand called Zudio, mm. which had a snazzy brand. But along the way, mm. he also tied up with United Colors of Benetton. Mm. He tied up with uh, Zara. Mm. And there were other brands which he worked with, mm. where he learned all this. Mm. And then when he launched Zudio, there was no stopping him. Mm. And also they tried to do the supermarket concept with Star Bazaar. Yes. He struggled. In places like Madras, he opened the outlet and then shut down the outlet. Yes. Because he did not believe in rapidly expanding it. No. Because uh, Neol Tata is very famous for making businesses profitable. True. So his focus was on profits. And therefore, he even shut down many stores, like I told you. And uh, finally... But that's a brave thing to do. It's a brave thing to do. When Zudio is owned, is only does private label. Mm. And whatever he learned in Westside and he whatever he learned in Zudio, he applied in Star Bazaar. Now, Star Bazaar is now growingly selling only private label products. Very true. This gives him greater margins. Much greater margins. Margins and allows him to grow the business. Yes. Now, the Star Bazaar is a joint venture with Tesco, which is an English uh, supermarket company. The importance he is showing to Star is that he has put his son as in charge of running that company. His uh, son is the head of the hypermarket division. Correct. Speaks volumes. Volumes. And I also think, I do not know for sure, but Krona is also a part of this umbrella. I yeah. don't know how they are, where they are keeping it. Whether it's part of Trent or not, I don't know. But the Krona is another thing they are running. But if you visited a Krona store, it started by retailing all other products. But now is con slowly you can see yes. they are bringing private label. True. All the connectors, everything they are doing private labels manufacturing. Very true. All the consumables which you see in Chroma uh -huh. are all private labels. These are all high margin products. Very high margin. And, and they're that, high volume also. Uh, so today TV doesn't sell. So he may even sell a Chroma TV for all I know. Yes. And the money is not made in selling the cell phone. The money is made by selling the accessories. Consumables for cell phones. Consumables. Like the case, the yeah. screen, all the trinkets. Lens has it. tied up with iPhone for doing iPhone retail. I don't think Krona has tied up yet. They have iPhone. They have iPhone. But they don't have any Imagine store. No, they don't have any Imagine store. No. So Krona is one thing which he is not fixed. In this, he also started something known as Tata Click. Yes. Which was his online store. I don't know how successful he's it is. He's got two apps in that. One is a luxury. And then he's got the regular uh, regular app. And he's now Chandra is trying to consolidate all that into a super Data, app. Into a super app. Yeah. Now. Because he's got big basket. He's got. Uh, but all that. Is, I don't know whether Tata Click has now become a part of. Uh, mm, for a many times. No. Tata but Click what was, recently came. When the iPhone 16 was launched. Uh, you could get through big basket. You could order 10 minute delivery of mm. an iPhone 16. Tata's was the first one to do this, where you order the iPhone 16 and 10-minute delivery. The Click was a successful digital venture. The Tata mm. News suffered. Yes. I don't know whether they have merged. But they have been learning a lot from this. And um, what happened is because he succeeded in Trent. Mm. The Trent 10 rupee stock used to be in 250 or 300. Yes. Now the 1 rupee stock, which is split one time, yes. is now at 7,500. Yes. This is absolute diamond. That is, you cannot even think of touching Correct. that stock. Yeah. If you had bought it any time before 2014, it was going at 140, 145, that's 140. That's a 10 rupee stock. That's where I bought it. Yeah. And the problem was, it's always very expensive. Yes. That's the greatest thing about it. It was never cheap. It was never if cheap. If you're looking in terms of PE, a 10-year medium PE is at 164. Yeah. So you should have bought it in spite of it being an IPE. Yeah. That is why I didn't build up a big quantity. Yeah. But it really hurt. Yeah. Really took off. That is, I could have easily bought in a small lot, a bigger lot. But I bought a Nam Kevaste lot. At least I'm there. Yes. But uh, this is... So, but my, my question is, right? Mm. The problem is, as an investor, mm. I look at this. Tata's are very good mm. at B2B. They're very solid, their foundation. They're still in new errands in B2C. So, they're still learning 
If no, back no. then I'm looking at back then, right? So you're looking at all this, and it's a high value company, you know, in terms of PE and all that, and they don't have great experience. Way back in 2014, I'm yes. saying, I'm much like you would have looked at it and said, maybe this is a I bet. Didn't bite. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have bitten into it. Right. So today, coming back to today's scenario, right? This is true. Looking back in hindsight, is fabulous. But in today's scenario, would no. you say Tata Motors? No, no. Let me give huh. you those example. Huh. First of all, they are not a, only a B2B company. In a B2C business, mm. the customer should trust you. Brand loyalty, very important. Very important. Mm. There are two brands in which they are very strong. One mm. is Tata T. Mm. What was Tata Finlay became Tata T and now become yes. Tata Consumer. Asli Chai, yes. Yes, so they had a very strong. In 1982, Kanan Dev and TVs, they launched. Yes. PT Usha was the brand ambassador. Yes. So the Tatas, because of JRD himself, which is what I remember. Hmm. I don't remember a Tata beyond JRD because there was nothing. When I was born, JRD was already active. there. He was in the helm. He was at most at the fag end of his career. Yes. I was born in 67. So he took over in 1938. Yes. So JRD was a very respected man. Still is. He is no more there. He was a very respected man. Hmm. And nobody would believe that Tata could do something wrong. Yes. Yeah, very true. Very true. So they had a huge brand loyalty, and which they had demonstrated with Tata T. And also with terms of Indian hotels, their level of service was extraordinary. True. So what happened is, so you knew always hmm. they would fix a problem. Hmm. I didn't buy much of this, but I bought the other one, Titan. Hmm. When I was in trouble, hmm. they fixed Titan. Yes. They had Titan was a company, which again he started because HMT needed some competition. Hmm. And they didn't want to allow a foreign brand to come. That's how he started Titan. Hmm. With Xerox Desai. Correct. It really took off in the early, late 80s, early 90s. Yes. And then it just took off. And I'm telling you how business develops. They had to import a lot of components for the watchmaking. Watchmaking. Hmm. And Manmohan Singh told them if you want to import, you have to export something. So Xerox Desai had an idea that if he exported 18 karat gold jewelry, hmm. Because watch is synonymous with jewelry. No, no, he didn't. He wanted to export it hmm. wholesale hmm. and you earn for an exchange to cover for this. Yes, in Europe uh, to mainly to Yeah, but unfortunately, by the time the missionaries came, 18 karat gold jewelry vanished in Europe. Yes, they had got into economic trouble and the, the it, fashion it, changed. Fashion changed, whatever it got into serious trouble. So they had a lot of missionary and they had no gold. So what happened is, so he started selling 18 karat gold here. Hmm. And nobody wanted to buy 18 karat gold. Because Indian mindset was different. Yeah. And our thought at that time was that we will make only pure jewelry. Yes. So what happened is one guy had a brave idea. He will take the keratometer and put it in every shop. Yes, they branded the keratometer. Yes. They branded the keratometer. The keratometer is what in those days was no hallmark. No hallmark. So you could take your jewelry to the Titan store and check whether your jewelry was for free. Print, for free. Yeah. And so people started coming everywhere. And finding out that a local jeweler was taking them for a ride. Yeah. And so the Tata sales took off. Yes. Even today, if you look at the Tanish rate and the ordinary jeweler rate, there's a hundred, hundred and fifty rupees per gram. They make more. Yes. Tata gold is costly than ordinary gold by hundred, hundred and fifty rupees. Yes. The founder of Tangamail told me that man is charging per gram hundred to hundred and fifty. He is not number one in any place, but he is number two, number three in all of places. And overall, he is number one. That is the power of the brand. True. Now, why do I am telling you these two examples? Hmm. Is strength and this. Hmm. The biggest gripe on Tata Motors is their after sale service is poor. Yes. But trust me, once they fix all the other issues, hmm. their bigger issues was in design and other things. Hmm. Now, nobody is complaining about No, this all been fixed. I agree on it. They will fix the service. It will take time. Okay. But they will fix the service. Hmm. And it will be at par with any other service of any other company. Okay. But only it takes time. Correct. So like where Maruti Suzuki is valued today by investors, the market, hmm. the crazy price, PE ratio, Maruti Suzuki is sitting at. Do you think Tata Motors, some point in time, will navigate itself? No, see, Tata Motors, what will happen? Hmm. It will be better than even Suzuki. In my reading of the situation, yeah, I want people to hear this. Yeah, it will be even better than Suzuki. Hmm. Suzuki is a para owned by a colonial master like Suzuki, in turn owned by Toyota. Correct. So they want to extract money outside. They are not going to invest anything in India and grow. They are not going to give you any new technology. 
Correct. So that's a wrong comparison. Hmm. So Deen. there you go. It's a wrong comparison to have. Hmm. So this is like Hindustan Unilever. Now Tata's is an ITC model hmm. where he is building every technology. So you own the technology. In Maruti, you own nothing. Everything is inside India. Inside in Suzuki. Yeah. No, in Toyota Motors, everything is in India. In, everything is in India in this company. And this company is going to split into two. Hmm. And it's already split into three. I'll tell you how. Hmm. There will be a commercial vehicle which hmm. will become separate, which has 50% market share. Hmm. They have been losing market share to Ashok Leyland hmm. because all the company's focus has been on passenger vehicles. Hmm. Nobody is talking about their commercial vehicles. Correct. The senior management. Hmm. Now what will happen is the commercial vehicle will become a separate company. Hmm. The passenger vehicle will be a separate company. Hmm. You will get, if you have 1000 shares of Tata Motors, you will get 1000. 1000 here. And 1000 there. Correct. And these two companies will run independently. Very true. So you have only the car company, hmm. which is going to compete with Maruti. Hmm. And you have a commercial vehicle, which is dominant and which has a separate management, separate cash flow, which will become a global behemoth. Correct. So you are getting two for the price of one. Very true. Then there is a 5% stake in Tata Capital. Yes. Because they have demerged Tata Motor Finance and sold it to Tata Capital. True. And taken 4.7% stake in that. Hmm. You get that. Yeah. Then whatever you all guys went behind Tata Technologies and said, I didn't get it, you didn't get it. You own 65% of Tata Technology. technologies through this company. Very true. So for price of one, you are getting a commercial vehicle, you are getting a passenger vehicle, you are getting a technology company. Plus you are getting a holding in Tata Technologies. You are, you are getting 65% holding in Tata Technologies and you have 5% of Tata Capital which is not yet listed. Fabulous. So you are getting 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 for the price of one. Which right now it's being undervalued. Which is as, because you don't know whether it's a commercial vehicle company. Correct. Okay. Because now, you I'll just right give now, you an example. Hmm. This thing is at 250. Hmm. Ashok Leyland. I own Ashok Leyland also. Yes. We bought it at 18. Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's at 250. Yeah. Now this guy is three times bigger than Ashok Leyland. Hmm. So you are looking at a 600, 700 rupee valuation. True. Okay. Hmm. Minimum. Minimum. I'm just looking. Um, yeah. 500, two times Ashok yeah. Leyland. Yes. And it will continue to grow. Yes. Right? Because he's got new product line, which we spoke about in another video. Yeah. And now he is going to launch, cars will be separate. Yeah. And uh, Chandra has interviewed in auto car, if you have listened. He says 30% is going to be electric by 2030. True. So you are talking about a passenger car company, which is going to be India's largest electric car. It's already. And the numbers are just going to climb up. Hmm. So that could go to 300, 400. Hmm. This will go to 500, 600. You are straight away talking about a 30% gain from here. Very true. Even without doing anything, just because it splits. True. And if the market is where it is. True. But both will grow in their trajectory. Hmm. And both will become in 10 years more than 1000 each. So that technologies will be valued separately. Hmm. So this will be valuation by parts. Very true. The other company which I talked to you, I bought it at 35. I made you buy it at 60. Yes. And you refused to share, do the subscribe to the rights also. Hmm. <laughs> so that is Indian hotels. Yeah. I think we should do that as a separate video because we have okay. taken this quite a bit of time. And I would bring Anand in again, talk about Indian hotels and how we unlock value there as another video. You, know, you still hold on to it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about that in another episode. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you found this very informative on how multi-baggers are spotted and how it's built and how you have to wait. Yes. These things don't happen overnight. So this is some food for thought what I wanted to give you. I'm not asking you to go right out and buy Tata Motors, put 5 lakhs and 10 lakhs, not like that. Buy That's, one, buy two. Yeah. So keep at your Tiffin coffee range. When you see value, keep dipping them. And this is how you see it in the long term. So I hope you kind of got into an idea about this. Do like and share this video. Do subscribe to this channel. And uh, me and Anand will see you in another one soon. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Hey guys, welcome back to Be Rich. Before we get into the video, I wanted to bring to your notice that my uncles Vinod Srinivasan, Anand Srinivasan and I have rolled out a Substack, which is basically a blog slash newsletter where we're going to post our original research onto it. And we've analyzed macroeconomic trends. And a lot of you know, my uncle Anand Srinivasan and I regularly write for the Hindu and these articles are also going to be made available for you 
in the Substack. The link is moatmoatinvesting.substack.com. You'll find it in the description and in the video right now. Um, we hope you go check it out. We've put a lot of time and effort into it. And please give us comments and feedback on what you read. Thank you. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.